As the world evolves, so too do the threats faced by nations and the defense systems designed to protect them. The emergence of new technologies has significantly transformed the landscape of modern warfare. From traditional ballistic missiles capable of delivering nuclear warheads to sophisticated drones that can conduct reconnaissance or deliver precision strikes, defense systems are adapting to new threats. Are directed energy weapons the game changers in defense, or are they simply overhyped and impractical for widespread deployment? Join us as we discover how defense systems are ingeniously adapting to counter these emerging dangers. Technology has been intrinsically tied to our lives throughout human history, and security has been no exception. In ancient times, direct warfare relied solely on the physical progress of soldiers. However, with the advent of new technologies, the face of battle began to change and nations started deploying advanced weaponry. Here, have a look at how our defense systems have evolved with time. The steam era emphasized manpower as the backbone of battles, but as a petroleum era, progress machine warfare took center stage. Tanks, airplanes, and armored vehicles became prominent players on the battlefield. Over time, the integration of technology into warfare transformed nations' defense capabilities with sophisticated tools becoming vital to safeguarding people and national assets. Today, modern defense systems rely heavily on high-tech advancements such as planes, missiles, drones, satellites, computers, GPS, air defense systems, radar, sonar, night vision, X-ray AI, and more. These cutting-edge developments play a crucial role in ensuring security and enabling countermeasures against emerging threats. Technological innovation has become a cornerstone of modern warfare. Radar's giant airplane vision, shaping the way they operate and participate in conflicts. Sonar is utilized in naval warfare, while strategic operations rely heavily on missiles, artillery, and armored vehicles. Talking about space warfare, spacecraft and satellites take center stage, pushing the boundaries of what was once considered impossible. Technology has become the driving force behind planning, strategizing, and executing missions for national security. It has bridged the gap between distant locations, making the world feel smaller and more connected than ever before. As we continue to evolve, so too will our defense systems, harnessing the power of technology to stay one step ahead in an ever-changing global landscape. Given the proliferation of technologies and weapon systems, air-based threats have expanded and NATO forces are reconsidering their air defense capabilities. Horizontal proliferation involves more countries possessing airborne threats like aircraft and missiles. Vertical proliferation involves technical innovations. Anim and aerial vehicles, connections to cyber and information space, and accessibility to new players like terrorist organizations. To protect against potential threats to international security caused by the spread of missiles and missile technologies, the U.S. and Russia have separately set up limited ballistic missile defense systems. A ballistic missile defense system is a network of interconnected sensors, analytics, and countermeasures designed to stop attacking missiles from hitting their intended targets. These sensors can be located on the ground, at sea, in the air, or even in space, using radar and infrared detection to track the missiles. The analytics interpret the sensor data, identifying the attacking missiles and calculating their positions and paths. The countermeasures include interceptor missiles positioned on the ground or in the air, as well as directed energy beams near the attacking missiles. These countermeasures are meant to disable, disrupt, or destroy the attacking missiles. Different BMD systems are created and deployed to counter specific types of attack missiles, such as short-range, intermediate-range, or intercontinental missiles. Both the U.S. and Russian BMD systems, currently in use or planned for the future, include space-based elements for launch detection and initial tracking, radar systems for tracking the missiles during their flight, and interceptors to destroy incoming missiles. These systems can operate from geosynchronous and highly elliptical orbits in space. The radar systems and interceptors can be located on land or at sea. The deployed and planned interceptors are designed to stop intermediate and medium-range missiles from reaching their targets. The air defense doctrine employed by NATO member countries encompasses three main aspects – active defense counter-air, passive defense counter-air, and offensive counter-air. ADCA involves responding to direct threats from enemy air assets by detecting incoming attacks and planning appropriate countermeasures using long-range sensors and interception tactics. PDCA aims to minimize the impact of successful enemy air attacks by protecting key facilities, employing redundancy measures, and utilizing camouflage and deception tactics. 
OCA involves removing or degrading the enemy's airstrike capability through preemptive offensive air attacks on their territory, bases, and supporting facilities. For an integrated air defense system, all three aspects must be coordinated and included, with elements within each branch integrated to achieve full effectiveness. This requires seamless coordination between sensor systems, weapon systems, command and control, and support elements to create a sustainable and layered defense system that actively defends against threats, passively mitigates their effects, and offensively counters the enemy's air assets to safeguard its operations. In the next five years, there will be a focus on developing long-range delivery systems, leading to increased investment in air and missile defense assets. There's an emphasis on connectivity between weapon systems and fighting platforms with defense organizations using advanced sensors and analytics while connecting with legacy systems. Government and industry are converging to deliver multi-domain operations, with commercial companies taking the lead in innovation. Defense organizations need to invest in interoperability to ensure new assets can work with older weapon systems and coalition forces. A next-generation weapon system requires a next-generation supply chain, integrating industrial and national partners for efficient and cost-effective acquisition, maintenance, and connectivity between assets and platforms. Various types of defense systems are currently in use to counter a wide range of threats. Laser defense systems utilize directed energy to intercept and neutralize incoming missiles, drones, and artillery shells. Missile defense systems are designed to detect and intercept ballistic missiles during different phases of flight, protecting against potential missile attacks. Drone defense systems have become essential with the increasing use of unmanned aerial vehicles, using various technologies like radio frequency jammers and net-based capture systems to counter rogue drones. Air defense systems are crucial in protecting airspace from aerial threats, employing anti-aircraft guns, surface-to-air missiles, radar systems and command centers for early detection and engagement of enemy aircraft. Cyber defense systems play a vital role in safeguarding military and civilian networks from cyber threats and hacking attempts. Electronic warfare systems focus on denying or disrupting enemy use of the electromagnetic spectrum, impairing their communication and navigation capabilities. Naval defense systems protect naval vessels from threats like anti-ship missiles and torpedoes, while ground-braced air defense systems ensure the safety of ground forces from airborne threats. Additionally, space defense systems are being developed to protect satellites and space-based assets from potential attacks. Each of these defense systems serves a critical role in countering modern threats and securing national and international interests. In the U.S., the protection of key strategic assets, including the White House, relies on the National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System, NASAMS is specifically designed to counter a wide range of threats, such as cruise missiles, aircraft, and drones. Each NASAM system is equipped with 12 interceptor surface-to-air missiles, ensuring a multi-layered defense approach. While the system's effectiveness remained undisclosed to the public, the U.S. is considered employing NASAMS to support Ukraine in bolstering its defense capabilities. Another prominent example of an effective air defense system is the Israeli Iron Dome. Designed to defend against rockets and artillery shells launched from distances of up to 155 miles, the Iron Dome is an essential safeguard for Israel. Each Iron Dome missile battery consists of three to four missile launchers, each equipped with up to 20 interceptor SAMs. Remarkably, the Iron Dome boasts an impressive 90% kill rate for rockets targeting Israel, earning it high praise as possibly the world's most effective missile defense system, as described by veteran national security correspondent Mark Thompson. While both NASAMS and Iron Dome have demonstrated their efficacy against drones, utilizing SAMS to counter low-cost drone threats can be financially burdensome and might be overwhelming in the face of large-scale drone attacks. To address this challenge, defense researchers are turning to directed energy weapons such as high-energy lasers. These advanced systems offer a potentially more cost-effective approach to neutralizing low-cost drones by precisely targeting and disabling them with laser beams. The development and deployment of such directed energy weapons are promising advancements in the ongoing quest for robust and efficient air defense solutions. As threats are evolving with technological advancements, the need for the evolution of defense systems is dire as it is rightly said, stay ahead or stay vulnerable. You can only protect yourself if you are well aware, so subscribe to our channel, hit the like button and press the bell icon 
to always stay aware. Is international collaboration and information sharing important in strengthening defense capabilities against common threats? Let us know in the comments what you think.